still not finding it any easier to, to start the things. Um, it's been fun. There's been fun things have happened, uh, and lots of other things have happened. So, uh, to bring you up to speed, this is a video blog about a game I am making where you play a piece of bread that is trying to get onto the menu or the plate at a restaurant that does not serve carbohydrates. It is a very silly game. Uh, the main thing about the game that will be interesting about it, I hope, is that the controller will be an actual old toaster that I will be putting an Arduino inside and turning into a controller. Um, and I will be showing you how I have progressed with that uh, soon. The electronic side hasn't really changed. I've been concentrating more on the actual development of the game in Unity and things like that. And uh, yeah, uh, there's also been some fun stuff, some very silly stuff. Um, in fact, there's one thing that springs to mind immediately that I think I can't really wait, so I'm going to have to put it in now. It's this. I think I may have discovered a bug. <laughs> um, I really don't know what's happening here because the main camera, for reasons best known to itself, is just flying forward. <laughs> oh, be free! Be free! You will break, but I made the head kinematic, and that's all I've changed. That's the only thing I. I mean, I've been trying to make hinge joints and stuff, or character joints. I don't know, but come be free, be free. You can make it. You can do it. <laughs> I have discovered a bug. <laughs> <laughs> so what the hell is this? What the hell has changed? Why? Why is that happening? All I made, all I did is make that kinematic. It's all I changed. <laughs> Yeah, that was funny. That was good. Um, the thing with the limbs, by the way, flailing around, um, I'm going to come back to that. Uh, I do want the limbs to flail around a bit, at least. Um, and to be honest, I'm almost thinking that maybe that should be the win state. Like, if you do manage to get through the level or whatever, just recreate that bug. Because <laughs> it was too fun. Uh, it was very funny. Um, so, uh, I most of the stuff that I've actually done um, has been sort of behind the scenes. I've done a bit of redesigning of some of the code. Um, as uh, you're about to see, um, I changed the way the camera worked in a way so that I could do fly-ins and fly-outs and stuff like that. And so I might do something scaling with the camera when you die, for example. I haven't worked that quite out yet. I did a little bit of work on enemy AI. Um, and uh, a little bit of work on just making it look a little bit like a game, even though um, it's very, very rough as it stands. So uh, the actual proper here's what I've done so far game blog thing uh, is... <laughs> okay, uh, this is where we are now. Um, this still moves the guy. This button still makes him jump. This, uh, at the minute, uh, zero uh, with my thumb is, is what makes him shoot the crumbs. And now we have a table and a kitchen and a fancy little camera flying like this. Woo! Um, and the reason that little block on the side is there is because I still haven't worked out how to stop the Arduino uh, giving the min value. And since I've now made it so that you can uh, accidentally somewhat fall off the table, um, I thought it would be a good idea to have a bar in the side to stop that happening immediately the game started because it seemed a little unfair. Um, <laughs> But uh, I will hopefully be able to fix that. Um, as it stands now, everything is still scrolling towards me. There's nothing actually moving apart from these guys that are coming towards me now. Um, as I mentioned, the guy can jump when I press the button. He can shoot when I press this. Um, now, these enemies are heavy and they do not get destroyed when you shoot them unless they fly very high in the air, which does not happen often because you are... Um, sure, because you... Ah, I'm not very good at my own game because they are heavy and your crumbs don't affect them very much. So that is what these things, I'm assuming, I think I'm gonna make them slabs of butter. Slabs of butter that you can shoot a bit, but it won't really help you your best things to avoid them or jump over them. Now, the yellow pots are going to be pepper pots that are gonna be angry pepper pots that fire peppercorns at you when they get close enough to you. 
Uh, I tried to do their, their AI and so far I have failed. These guys are horrible. These red things are going to be angry salt sellers that stalk you and if they touch you it's game over. Um, now, as, at the minute, um, if you shoot them before they... Ah! <laughs> if you shoot them before they get to you... Um, sorry, if you shoot them before they start rushing you, um, it stops that happening. Um, I, I, if you look in the distance, I'm just going to fire off a whole load of stuff. Um, the yellow ones turn green when they hit and f um, fly up in the sky. The red ones turn blue when they are hit and fly up in the sky and explode. Oh, that's the other thing I added. Particle, all the particle effects ever. Um, there should be particles. Yeah, there's particles on the crumbs when they... Oh, not always, though. Ah! Ah! Okay, let's try and hit one of these guys at closer range so you can see what they do. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a salt thing up ahead. You hit him, he flies up in the air, he's turned blue, and after a certain amount of time after turning blue, he explodes. Um, and that is that. Um, and I actually had to make the, these guys not rush at you quite as fast. Um, and I am aware that they're falling over and it looks ridiculous. I actually like the fact that they fall over and look ridiculous, but they're looking ridiculous too uniformly. I don't want uniform ridiculousness in my game. <laughs> I want random ridiculousness. So I'll have to work out and make that happen. Um, uh, all of these things... Um, oh yeah, and when you die, everything dies and the camera returns to the middle and this is where you'll have the game over thing um, and your score um, and I haven't really worked out win lose states or lives or health or anything like that yet um, but the way it is working right now is as mentioned before these textures are all scrolling towards me um, and the enemies are moving um, the enemies are kinematic and uh, 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 yeah, enemies are kinematic until their kinematic and their colliders are on trigger, or something like that, um, until you hit them with your projectile, which then turns the kinematicness off, turns the stuff off, which is why they'll fly up in the air and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the same with the salt cellars, they stop being kinematic when they rush you. Um, again, all of this could be solved if I just have the world, if I make the walls and the table and the ceiling tiled and just instantiate them. Um, or whatever you do. I assume you still instantiate um, tiles. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I don't see why not. Um, and, and actually move the enemies towards me until they start rushing me or stuff like that. Um, uh, as I just think that might be easier in the long run. So I'm going to look into that. But yes, that is the gameplay as it is for now. And it is fun and it pleases me. And uh, yeah. And I made my high quality table out of cylinders and bits of cube. <laughs> right, back to the studio. Yes, so that's it. That's pretty much what I've done. Dun gin ding 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 so that's pretty much what I've got done so far. Um, I uh, there's another little clip that I just messed around with editing because I like doing silly things. Um, and so this is it. This is the vlog number two. Um, vlog number three. Uh, I guess I could do some code, maybe. Um, but since this isn't the game jam like last time, uh, I know other contestants of the game jam are watching this. Whereas this time round, I think maybe it's just one or two people. Um, but if there is anyone that sees this and is interested in the code or how I did it, um, I will be more than happy to go through some of it. But I'm not a teacher at all. I am foolish. And I remain. Uh, humbly yours. Uh, I will write again soon. Stay well. Very well. Game, game, game. Game, 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 game. La, 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 game. Ha ha ha, game. Whoops, shit, fell off, falling through the floor. Nope, I'm on the floor, it's fine. Diddly diddly dee. Jump. Oh god, oh god! <laughs> <laughs>